Pisces. What is up? One fish, two fish. <laughs> but yes, welcome to the Mother Trusted channel. If you've already been here, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome in. We are here to embrace you with open arms. It's nothing but love over here. A non-judgmental zone, so feel free to be yourself um, and the most purest, genuine, authentic expression of self as you are right now. And I just hope that you leave better than you came, right? Take the message that resonates with you. Nothing more, nothing less. What you guys have coming out is the Ace of Coins. The cruise that hounds you is the Hierophant. So I definitely feel like Things surrounding like tradition and societal norms that's coming up heavy for you guys at this time. You, you're, you're questioning um, tradition and whether or not you want to live a life based off of the olden ways. Like I'm hearing ancient knowledge. Maybe things that have been passed down generation through generation like from your ancestors. You're really taking a, a closer look at that and seeing what you want to, I guess, like attribute to yourself and then pass down to your kids. And I'm only saying that because what's real about the situation, what came out was the two of coins, and then what's wrong about the situation is the sun card, which is a kid. So I feel like some of you guys, you, you're you really struggling, especially if you are in a relationship with people that are from different cultures, like you're from one other place, say you're from the States, but the person that you're married to is from the Philippines. And I'm only saying that because this guy kind of looks Asian, right? Um, no discrimination. But it can really be anybody that you are involved with, right? But that just comes from a different place or it altogether has a different background, you know? And so the way that they see things and the way that they would choose to parent should you guys have children it's very different than how you do it. and so it's trying to figure out how you guys can compromise with this two of coins like like what what type of lifestyle you want this kid to have or are you going to keep it open and just be open-minded people with each other but also again with your children if you have any or you decide that this is the person that you want to have kids with. So like conversations about like baptisms and or like religious beliefs and whether or not like you're going to allow your kid to just grow up and immerse themselves in all different types of cultures and religions to see what really works best for them. Or if you guys can come to decide like which which one of the two of you are the most religious and so should assume that role of being the guiding light in that way, you know, but as well as informing of all the other things that do exist, you know, all the things that fall under the sun, under the umbrella of life. If you guys are going to try to make it to where your kids have both, like the best of both worlds, I feel like you're trying to figure out how to have the best of both worlds to some degree. And this doesn't have to be about a kid, I'm just saying it because again that sun card is there in the what's wrong position um, and what's wrong about it is some of you guys are wanting to shelter or um, hide your your child away from the reality of life you know but sheltered kids often become the most rebellious that's just a pattern I've seen over time so you can choose to be like the parent that always just like talks around the point or tries to get out of having to answer the question truthfully to your child and then they find out you know through their social groups their peers they're going to figure this out somewhere so it's better to hear it from the horse's mouth or to hear it from you as opposed to finding out how they came to know what they know and who has influenced them you know because again if they're getting it from their their friends and their their, their social peer groups then there's a whole lot of misinformation that can just be circulating within that group. You know what I'm saying? Your friends are not going to tell you to have safe sex with somebody. They're just going to be there to root you on should you decide that you want to lose your virginity. You know what I mean? So if sex is like the topic of conversation or just procreating and the um, seriousness of it, you know, how much of a game it's not that you're needing to have with a kid at this time, then you have to have that talk with them and show them how to put on a condom or show them um, to like inspect a condom, also to inspect each other's bodies for any open cuts or whatever because 
the exchange of bodily fluid is not the only way to contract an STD, an STI, stuff like that. You know what I mean? If this is about like real estate and what you're trying to leave for your, your children to acquire, you know, you're, you're going to have to have those conversations about how to balance a checkbook here, right? What a budget means, what that looks like, trying to set them up to be more successful than you were, to have more opportunities than what you had. So I feel like a lot of, again, the best of both worlds, not that they should be ashamed of how they're growing up and right in the way that you are able to provide for this person or these people, these children, whatever, what have you. Um, but it's like, this isn't all there is to life, basically. So people don't know what they don't know until you show them or you tell them, you know what I mean? And everybody has different ways of learning things as well. So I feel like if you're in a partnership, then that's what's coming up for you guys as far as having the best of both worlds and figuring out the, the learning styles that you guys have. Somebody might be more of a like, you tell me once, I got it. And the other person may be more of a visual or hands-on learner. You know what I mean? They have to do it a couple of times before they get it. You have to explain it a couple of times before they get it. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, do you have enough patience to help this person develop? And I'm definitely getting that with a relationship as well. Some of you Pisces, there's an opportunity. There's a window of opportunity that is coming up. If it hasn't already happened here, where somebody is going to come in with a message. I feel like it's going to be an email. If they call you and they miss the call, they'll leave a voicemail or they will at least send you a text. There's going to be some form of telecommunication um, and you're going to be hearing from somebody that's hearing from somebody that's wanting to make a reappearance in your life, namely a Leo or somebody with heavy Leo placements here that you've been having disagreements with. You guys haven't learned the concept of agreeing to disagree. It's kind of like my way or the highway is what I'm hearing and that's also how I'm seeing it. So there's a window of opportunity to have a conversation with this person so that you guys can really see um, where you guys are coming from so that you guys can better understand each other's points of view and have more respect for them. Whether or not this turns into something romantic or not is really up to you in the universe and um, the, the free will that's in this because this is all a choice. You can choose not to move on this choice or accept this invitation for a conversation. Again, completely up to you um, whether or not that happens. But again, it would be of your highest good, especially because we have the judgment card that is here because at the end of the day, it's something that you have to come to terms with. Okay, it, whether or not you've already accepted this apology of your own doing like I forgive myself for putting myself in a situation where I gave that much power and or my time and attention away from somebody who's who who I assumed as far as my position was concerned and the part that I played in their life without having that clarity you know what I mean without hearing it from this person first because a lot of people would will do that they will assume their role in somebody's life and so you know how that goes, you know what I mean? Um, so for some of you guys, yeah, you can come to terms with and accept it like, yeah, I see my faults, my flaws here, my character flaws, definitely with all of this coins energy. There was a better way to have handled the situation. I feel like that's also coming up. Somebody was blindsided by the way that this relationship potentially halted. Um, and so if you guys were to pick it back up, this is understanding that you're going to have to start completely over, right? Because the, the heaviest energy is the Ace of Coins. And then you lead out with the Judgment card. So it's a complete whitewashing. If you decide to take this person back, this is leaving the past in the past and really having a fresh start. So you can't hang anything over anybody's head, any past transgressions. You have to kind of let the bygones be bygones, right? If you decide that you want to forgive this person. But at the at the end of the day, and regardless if you ever see this person in person or not, or ever have this conversation with this person or not, you're going to have to let that go, okay? Because it, it's taking up too much space in your life to, to continually think about it. And for some of you guys, 
thinking about like, oh, I, I wish I could have said that. Like that would have been a good thing to say. You know what I mean? But not necessarily for the person to be enlightened, but more so from a perspective of you wanting to be like critical. And it wasn't necessarily constructive criticism. Some of you guys need to learn that in your partnerships, how you can help somebody by giving them constructive criticism, just telling them that you don't like something, but not offering them any type of solutions um, for the ways that they can handle the situation better in a way that you also would enjoy, right? In a way that you would like that would pacify you with all of this energy. Then, I mean, you're setting this person up to fail. Like if you know that there's a load of laundry that you have to have washed, um, but you don't have time to do it because you're busy handling other tasks um, and you ask that person to do it, but you know that you like that load, that particular load for whatever clothes is in that load to be washed on like a delicate wash, you know what I mean? And instead of the water being on warm, it needs to be on hot or however you like it that you give that person the instructions to do it, that you don't just make assumptions and assume that the person's automatically going to know how to do it or automatically know what it is that you will enjoy here when it comes to gift giving, if that is what's on the table. So some of you guys are getting in touch with that, but Queen's Energy is all about the things that you need. Queen's Energy is all about understanding that everything comes at a cost as well. So what are you willing to sacrifice to have this healthy dynamic relationship this healthy workplace environment, um, to have consistency in the things that you're doing as far as your regimen is concerned, as far as your appearance is concerned, as far as um, building on your finances is concerned, um, in the way that you budget, right, your, your financial responsibility, um, in the way that you look after yourself, you know what I mean, in the way that you value yourself and the standards that you have over your life, like who it is that you can really rely on when push comes to shove is what I'm hearing. When push comes to shove, who is it that you can really rely on? Who really has your back? Who is really in your corner? That's what I'm getting with this energy. Not the people that just come in and try to fake it. They're only around when things are going well, you know, and they're wanting to celebrate life, you know, when everything seems good and dandy, your vibration is high, but they're only there to siphon your energy. Like, who's really there to support you? Who really makes their presence known in your life? Those are the people that you need to be affording more chances to, because Pisces are are the queens and kings of second chances here so you're looking at that who really deserves who really has earned a second chance and who really has earned a position in your life a part and a role in your life right this is your screenplay this is yours to direct the people that you cast in your life as the protagonist antagonist otherwise you know the love interest Sorry, the love interest. So you're, you're really looking at that. Who is it that you need at this time with this coin's energy? You need a provider. You need a supporter. You need a friend. You need somebody that's family oriented if that's something that you care about. You need somebody that gets along well and treats their friends well. Gets along well with others, but gets along well with others and treats their friends well. Where you guys can go out on double dates and triple dates and there's an intermingling and everybody... Um, there's no bad energy you know what i mean like there aren't any bad influences you, you're looking at that the people that you're surrounding yourself with who influences them because that has an effect on you right and your energy and your moods and things that you do because that rubs off on you so you're taking a closer look at that i definitely feel like there is somebody that just can't see life without you that doesn't know what to do without you namely a leo so i feel like that person will definitely try it if not while Mercury is stationed retrograde, then while it's direct, I would trust it a little bit more when it's stationed direct than if they were to come back now. Because um, anybody else that would be coming in is just trying to really just be entertained. Like they just want to have a good time. They don't, they aren't actually serious in their offer. You know what I mean? They just want some arm candy or eye candy. I don't know what to call that. They just want to be around somebody and that's all that it is. So as long as you don't care about that and you know how to separate your feelings, um, then you're fine. But if this person wants to offer something serious, I would wait. I would wait it out. And I would weigh it out also as well with this coin's energy. So that's what's coming through. If this reading resonated, give me a thumbs up. Share this with your friends and family. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button. What are you doing? And book with me should you need it. 
if we need to take a deeper dive into these energies. But if I don't hear from you in the comment section below, then just do take care of yourself and your soul until you hear from me again, all right? Ciao.